I believe. We should not be too far away, it should be in this direction. Too far from where? From what place? To locate myself. This is probably the camping area, I think. We are about to arrive. I don't see any comfort. Not a spa, not even a chair. But you want everything. That's why we brought the chair. We brought it. You brought the chair? No, I brought my chair. No, please, not again. This cannot be happening again. You brought your chair and mine? Exactly. But you had to bring your chair, his chair, and my chair. And what do you carry? Because I carry my bag. I carry my bag. And I carry my bag. I carry the weight and responsibility that comes with being here today. She deserves not to have a chair, but I'm carrying my backpack and all of my things too. I'm doing something for this group, so I deserve a seat at least. Why didn't you think of me? Look, I think you're the one who deserves the least because we're I lost. I am the one to blame for everything Ooh. now. I know, we are not finding the place because you are not thinking. And you know why aren't you thinking? Because they don't have the power. <laughs> More glitter, because I already shine. Alright, we are now ready to find the exit. Let's do this. It's that way. So, you are basing your choices on the wind that goes there? The thing is, if we are already lost in the desert, should we keep walking over there, or should we go back? What do we do? We have to look for the north. Let's look for the north. Friend, you brought me to a place where there is no signal. It is obvious that there is no signal. The idea was to spend 24 hours in the desert. I have a theory. Everything indicates that if we keep walking, we are going to find something. Something interesting. Approximately what time would you say? I can't answer that for you. We have to keep walking, and at some point we will find something. I'm sure. I don't plan to continue putting up with the sun. I told you that we had to go where the wind was blowing. That way. No! I'll keep it. I hold it and carry it. <laughs> I know. We are going to spin through the sand, going around. Let's do Yappa Yu. The one who loses has to throw himself in the sand. <laughs> she lost. It doesn't make sense to me because, imagine if I roll. Is that going to take me to the spa? You wanted to go to a spa? Yes. But the trip is to the desert, not to a spa. It's complicated to come up here. It is very difficult to climb. Since we're at the top, I want to say something really important. There's only one way down, and we're all going to jump from here. The only condition is that I do a test first in the sand. But for that, I'm going to need to cover up. Here, I have a sleeping bag right here, and you can get inside of it. Yes. Can it be pink like my glasses? Let's do it. <laughs> How does it feel? I feel like I'm in heaven. Very good. Now it's everyone else's turn. Are they setting up camp? They proposed that after your turn, they were going to jump, but they are failing us. If they don't jump on their own, I'll go get them. I know, we have to go very slow and push them right now, without a sleeping bag. But it has to be very surreptitiously. Very slow. I have an idea. I'm going to tell them I found something important. You seem agitated, Roxy. I'll tell you a secret. All right, come closer. <laughs> I think someone is missing. <laughs> when the tide is strong, you surrender. It's your turn. He stopped running. What happened? If he already ran that far and didn't see anything, it means it's the other way. So, come on, he'll catch up with us. I won't search for anything else. The umbrella went too far Listen away. Listen to something. Either this way or that way, we have to leave now because it's only minutes before the sun goes down. Could you walk faster? Don't you think we've done enough already, rolling in the sand? I think the one who did the most was him. Yes. And also he didn't do anything. He didn't get it back. Right, because you went to help me, didn't you? No, it was too far away. We brought this. Metal detector? All right. While you play with the metal detector, I'm going to stay over here, setting up my camping tent. While I play? I see. For you, it is a game to find treasures. To find silver, gold. Is it a game? They keep the tent very well. But imagine, while we are looking, we find a boat. A boat hidden in the middle of the desert. And that it also has a jacuzzi. So you, you are going to stay here with this tent that can blow away. And we, we are going to have a galactic artificial infrastructure. I think you've seen too many movies. How does this work? This is how it works. It's very easy. You have to grab it and start to... Start swimming. Now this should make a sound. Let's see. Can you hear it? It's here. It's the boat. Look for it. Well, it's a good start. The structure. 
Okay, we have a few more parts left. Now it is your turn to go and find... The rest of the boat. That's right. It seems to me that if there is a part of the ship there, the rest must be close by. <laughs> and what do we have? Here we have... It's a chain. We have to keep looking for things. We can't go there empty-handed. Let's take a look over here. I think I found something. I can't believe it. I think I know what it is. A rudder. Come on, open it. Well, everyone can imagine what they want. But here, we can make a soup. Soup? Yes, let's cook some soup. Wait, soup in the desert? It looks to me like we're going to get a little hot drinking that. Some hamburgers? Did we bring hamburgers? No. And then? Wait, I know what to do. With this stuff, we can go back and see what they brought to eat. Okay, let's go. We brought very important things. We didn't find the boat, but we found this. Wait a minute. I want to know. What are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm doing this? It's not a work of art. It is a small tree. No, I know. It's to make a bonfire. Of course, a bonfire. I guess, then, that one of us brought a lighter. Because if not, how else are we going to light the bonfire? Wait. You told us to come all the way here. We already did enough. Setting up camp. Our tent. Everything. You didn't carry anything, you had nothing. You didn't set up the tent. You didn't bring anything. I want to talk. Hear me out. Who rolled the sandy road here? It was me. Who gave the idea of searching with the detector on the sand to find a pot? It was also me. And who brought a lighter? <coughs> Alright then. I brought the lighter. Who's going to be in charge of lighting the bonfire? But it's going to be impossible. If we don't have paper, it's not going to light up. While you set the fire, I'm going to explore the land with the drone. I don't understand. They bring high technology, but they don't bring some paper. Look, I am going to tell you something. When I say I come prepared, Thank you. don't use all the toilet paper because I had a bad breakfast this morning. He had breakfast and did not share. I didn't eat breakfast either. Did you have breakfast? No, who had breakfast? Him. Fruits. Fruits. Are there fruits left? No, I ate them all. Ooh. Okay, here we have the drone. Let's inspect. What do we have in the area? I took some time to get ready for bed. To sleep? A woman who goes to bed early is successful. The sun is going down and we need to see what's around us. <laughs> he will take care of finding our way. We will spend the entire night in the desert, and tomorrow we will continue walking. We will go the way he points out. Could it be possible that the drone is coming at full speed towards us? Where? Watch out! I can hear it. Get down! No, wait. You definitely don't know how to handle that. Enough, stop it. Guys, I think we have a problem here. Our wood stick went out. Relax, I've got the solution. That's it. Let's go. Come on, fire, ignite now. That's it. No! I want you to explain to me what I am going to clean myself with when I feel like going to the bathroom. With this. With the sock. <gasps> Let's make a torch out of the sock to use it. It is a very good idea. I see you like, disposing a lot of what you are going to do with my sock. This is going to make it possible for us to get out of here. I know. We have to do a dance, so that if someone in the distance is seeing this, they can find us. Let's get ready then. Sure, with the torch. Let's go. <laughs> you grab it and do the dance. No thanks. Your turn. Throw sand on the stick. <laughs> he didn't understand. <laughs> All right. As I said from the beginning, since I've been here, I'm going to sleep. They took away my paper, I have nothing to wipe with. They took away my sock, I have a cold foot. And now, they want to take away my camping tent. This cannot be like this. <laughs> here we all sleep, or no one sleeps. I say we have to check the supplies. Let's put everything we have to eat here, on the middle. To eat? You're not hungry? Yes, but since you ate the fruits, I already called this day over. What I didn't say is that there are fruits left. There is an apple and a banana. I want the apple. You didn't bring anything, remember that. Go remember that. Remember that. <laughs> Here is a banana, a can of something. One of us is going to have to eat one of these cans. You have to eat it. Come on, try it. <laughs> but there is food inside of it. Too bad I got punished. Now I have to eat. What do you think it is, a lemon pie? It's corn. Corn. Open your mouth. It's lentils. Yes, it's lentils. It's delicious. Come on, open your mouth. Let me eat the food in peace. Okay, let's try the lentils then. Let's have a look. My house! That's enough. They tired me out. It can't be done with you. Where are my glasses? It's impossible to live together with you. So I'm out of here. I'm leaving. And this camp, it's a nightmare. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> I'm leaving. Wait for me. Let's go to the hotel. 
Wait for me. Let's go together. We are going to a hotel.